Hey guys, it's Joanne here. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you, why am I banging on this brush? <laughs> oh, okay, let's try this again. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a really quick Dollar Tree haul and I also popped in over at Dollar General um, after I was at Dollar Tree and I picked up just a few things so I figured I would just like kind of combine them all together to one haul to make it a bigger haul for you guys to enjoy. So without further ado, let's get right into my haul. First of all, I want to comment. I want to know if your Dollar Trees are doing the same thing because my Dollar Trees now have these paper bags that are like not labeled and they have handles. They're not very sturdy at all. They're actually starting to rip, but I just wanted to know if your Dollar Trees still have the plastic bags or not. I was kind of curious because I thought these were weird. First of all, let's get started. What did I pick up? Okay, we'll do my normal staples, which is some creamer. I usually get the International Delights creamer when I go to get groceries or when I order Instacart. But I like to pick up these Coffee Mate French Vanilla ones because they are shelf stable and I can keep them in my pantry in case I run low on my other creamer and it kind of tides me over until the next time I place like an Instacart order. So always get those, always a staple. Uh, in the food aisle, I guess this is a food bag. <laughs> Looking at all these things, all these things are food items. Uh, I saw this and I hadn't seen these before at uh, Dollar Tree. And I thought it was quite interesting, but they have the Japanese uh, panko breadcrumbs. And I love to use the panko crumbs for when I make my chicken parm or, you know, any type of breaded chicken type thing. And Duders is probably going to come in and, no, stay over here. Stay on your blankie. Hopefully he won't make Hopefully he won't make a lot of noise. Uh, anyways, for a dollar, I thought this was a great, great value size. You know, usually I'm paying like $3 plus for panko crumbs. And this is seven ounces. Um, Kelowna, C-O-L-O-N-N-A is the brand name. Keep an eye out for those. I also picked up some, uh, the Harvest Hill Light and Fluffy Pancake and Waffle Mix. I like this particular brand because it is one of those, like, all-in-ones, right? You just have to add water, so this is brilliant. I remember I used to get, like, certain pancake mixes where it would require, like, eggs and then if you, you know, milk or water, you know, in there to b for the liquid and well if you don't have eggs you can't make pancakes so in those instances where i'm out of eggs for breakfast i can still make pancakes by just adding water this is a 16.5 ounce box and i thought it was a pretty good value for a dollar i also picked up some more uh epsom salts the assured brand this is the lavender scented and I actually have been doing my own uh, pedicures over the past few months and I've really enjoyed doing them and one of my steps that I do is I actually soak my feet and I usually do it in the evening time before I go to bed so that I can uh, do my pedicure, mo moisturize my feet and then I put like a nice cotton sock on to keep the lotion and stuff on my feet overnight and I really enjoy using the lavender scented um, Epsom salts because it's kind of like a, you know they consider lavender like a relaxing or you know sleep agent and so I like to do this in the evening time and I usually do my pedicures like if not once a week, like once every other week. So I picked up another bag of that. Another food item I picked up, and this is a repurchase for me, is these Munch Rites, and it's cheddar and sour cream like cheese puffs. And I hauled these um, a few months ago, and I think I mentioned them as far as like kind of like a healthy snack type thing that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I have to tell you, these are like really good tasting. Like I, these are almost too addicting. But the good thing about it is that they are 140 calories a serving and the bag 
is only three servings. So if you decide you want to eat the whole entire bag, it's just over 400 calories. So keep an eye out for these in the snack aisle because these are really, really tasty and a nice, satisfying, cheesy flavored snack. What else did I get? Oh, I thought this was really interesting. So I oh, got hair in my mouth. I thought this was really interesting. My Dollar Tree had a display of magazines. And I thought that was kind of weird. I hadn't seen that before. Like I've seen books at Dollar Tree. I've seen coloring books at Dollar Tree, but I've never seen like actual like magazines. So I picked up two of them just to kind of have, you know, either bathroom reading or in the morning when I'm having my cup of coffee and if I'm not like TikToking or I'm not on Facebook or whatever and I just want to flip through something. Um, this one is called Paint Anything and it's 35 Easy Projects. And there's not a lot of like commercials in it, but they do have some just like really nice ideas, inspirations, you know, of what you can do using paint. So I picked up that one. I also picked up this one, which I thought was really cool. It's called Junk Overs. And it's basically about ways to like upside upcycle things that you know normal people would probably throw away or hey don't throw that away upcycle it to something else whether it's decor or you know organizational ideas so i figured that i would really enjoy you know flipping through one of these books and you know just kind of taking some inspiration out of the ideas that they have just you know, really, really cute ideas. So keep an eye out for those at your Dollar Tree. Mine were kind of uh, near the checkout where you would have like, you know, the big glasses, the big reading glasses display case. Um, to the right of that, there was like just a single thing. And there was a couple of other different um, magazines. If you happen to pick up or happen to recall the names of any of the other magazines, just leave them in the comments below uh, so that other people can, you know, keep an eye out for the magazines that are there. This was a great find for me. I was really excited about it. I have been looking for a new dog brush for a long time. I was actually uh, at my girls, uh, my camping weekend that I go with my girlfriends and they have like this really big dog, um, dog and animal, I think it's called Rat Wag the Tail and it's a big dog supply shop with food and accessories and stuff like that for your dog. And I saw a brush there and I really didn't like it. Plus the brush was like $12. Well, this brush is perfect and it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So it has two different size. It has the actual bristle section and then it has the actual wired section, but it has the, um, like the protective coating, you know, like the little dots on the top to kind of protect their coat. So Duders is whether he knows or whether Duders knows it or not, he's going to get a uh, nice brushing with this brush. But I was so happy to find this on the way out at checkout. You know how the impulse area usually gets me for one item, right? You're sitting in line and you're waiting and you're looking around and you're saying, did I find everything? Did I get everything? Well, one of the things I picked up and I've had this one before, I've lost it. So I wanted to get a replacement one. And this is this um, stylus pen set. But what I like about it is the fact, number one, that it's this nice, cool, like lime green color. It also has red, black, blue, and green ink um, by just clicking, you know, the different colors. And then the top of it is a little stylus for your phone. So I thought this was perfect. So I am so excited to... Um, have another one of these. I like this one because it's not as big as the chunkier ones that have the all different kinds of colors. This is nice to keep, this is nice to keep in your purse when you're looking for multiple colors, um, multiple color inks of pens. So I'm going to put this one right in my purse. Oh yes, I forgot I got these. Bonus, I picked up a little six pack of snacks of, Twi of Twix candy bars. I think Twix is probably one of my favorite um, American 
candy bars to eat with the cookie crunch and the caramel and the chocolate. I think it's Twix first and then I would have to say uh, Reese's peanut butter cup and then would come a Snickers when it comes to actual like candy bars Okay guys, so the next items I got were decor items that I picked up and I thought they were really cool And I can't wait to find places to put them on display, but uh, <laughs> These are these skulls This one I absolutely love with all the different changing colors and this one has that pearl essence also with the kind of you know the colors kind of change when the different light hits it. So I got these two little skulls for a decoration. Let me put just let me put this one here for now. Isn't he cute? And the other thing I picked up was I picked up this really cute like dark teal uh, pumpkin to put on display, and I absolutely love this. And this will probably stay in this room somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I absolutely love that one. Okay, so this is the last items at the Dollar Tree, and I picked up a lot of them. I think I picked up like eight of them because I wasn't sure how many I was going to actually use, but in the school area, kind of going into the Halloween area, right in the front of my store, they had these craft, with their, what they're calling craft bottles. And I'm just going to open one up quick for you. So they're just plastic craft bottles with a cover. But when I saw these, I was thinking, okay, you guys know that I did a few videos back. I did a full change of my cupboard with my spice containers. And I had these certain spice containers um glass spice containers that I got from Amazon. Well, I have a cupboard next to it that has a lot of odds and ends stuff, you know, maybe pastas or like chocolate chips, uh flax seed, uh, chia seed, stuff and like that. And these are going to be perfect for me to put those type of items in and then actually label them with these same labels that I have for the spice set. So my spice set came with a bunch of labels and I know I have certain items that can definitely fit these and will fit a little bit better and I can have more room in that cupboard than the um, the other mini storage containers that I already have. You probably have seen them. They usually come like three in a pack and they're like green or blue or white with the um, uh, with the caps, I'll insert a picture of them so you can see what I'm kind of using in there now. And so yeah, so I'm going to replace them with these with my spice set labels. Really excited about those. Okay, so that is it for Dollar Tree. Now let me show you what I got at Dollar General. I just picked up a few things, a few of their clothing items that I really, really thought were cute. Uh, this one is this uh, kind of like a really thin hoodie and it's so soft guys and it says love on it and what I'll do is I'll probably just like insert some footage of me wearing this afterwards but um, you know there's no pockets or anything on the front but I just thought this was a perfect like cozy around um, hoodie for fall perfect for fall this was um like 12.50 for that one i also got this really cute um <laughs> pajama set that says no hurry and no worries and it has like a sloth on it right and it has like a little uh sweetheart neckline little cap sleeve but look at the pajama bottoms guys how cute are these sloths and they're just long really really soft fabric pajama bottoms um, yeah absolutely love those and the last item I got and I have been so obsessed with this is they have these hoodies now and this hoodie is a zip hoodie and it has that really soft I don't even know what this is called but you guys know the furry inside but it does not shed at all right and um let me put this on so you guys can kind of see
Okay. So it has like a little love here and along the sleeves it says love love just on this sleeve and that's it it's just a plain hoodie got pockets zips uh you know hood goes up but i this this is so so comfortable i will say this when it comes to this hoodie for the sizing i had to size up two sizes so i usually get like either an extra large or a 1X when it comes to sweatshirts. This one I got as a 3X because I wanted to have the sleeves like really long and I wanted to be able to make sure that I could put like a, you know, bulkier item underneath it. But you can see that it it, it is plenty big for me, but it was mainly the sleeves for me. This was, I think this was, this one was $15. So that is it for my clothing haul. At, do at Dollar General and my Dollar Tree haul. If you like these type of haul videos, guys, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell. That way you can become notified as to when I um, upload videos and when I go live on YouTube. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'm going to chat with you in my next video. Bye guys.